back of the yeah. <laughs> Burke and John said that, that he would vote for you for Pope, so I guess he thinks highly of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, John and I go way back. Obviously, we played together right, for four right. years at State, and uh, he keeps asking me, is there going to be an American Pope? And he said, if there is, I'm going to vote for you. <laughs> I said, when, you know, and John, uh, uh, well, Everett keeps joking that right. uh, when are they going to allow the Jewish folks to vote for Pope? So <laughs> in a Catholic church, it's only the Cardinals anyway, but... Uh, I'm happy being just a simple <laughs> parish priest, to put it that way. Are you, is it just a coincidence you're teaching a class here at Creighton, or does it just kind of work out that way? Or do you schedule it that way? No, I wish I could have scheduled it, but I've been coming out here for the last 13 years or so uh, to teach one week, a uh, one week course to seminarians at Creighton, and it just coincided with state being here. So nice. I was watching the regionals and the super regional, just hoping that uh, it would work out, and it did. Are you still in Juliet? I am. Okay. Five minutes from where I grew up, ironically. Okay. So, you know, I went to Mississippi State and then Ohio University and been all over the world. And ironically, the Lord's brought me right back to where, where I started. What's we, this see one? John, we see John as the head coach. Tell us what you remember of him as the uh, outfielder. Uh, well, as a teammate, John was uh, intense, uh, great competitor, uh, obviously a great player, great hitter. There were times when uh, I remember one funny story when uh, he was having a tough day at the plate and. John could be very intense if he struck out. So one time he had a two-strike count against a really tough pitcher, and we all cleared the dugout. <laughs> so he did strike out. He came back ready to, I don't know what he was going to do. And he looked up, and none of us were there, and he, he started laughing. So that's a great memory I have of him, but a great teammate. And like I say, he's, he's a winner, and we're seeing that now. And as a, a former teammate, just very proud of what he's doing for, for our program. You see that intensity kind of? In his coaching styles too, uh, as well, don't you? Yes, they said he's he's mellowed out a little bit, uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you see that, and I think the guys really respect him. Uh, they know that he cares about them, and they know uh, that he wants to win, and he knows how to get there. Okay, have you communicated with constantly with your teammate, former teammates, about the, the run that this 2013 team has kind of had, or is it just kind of kind of just happened that way? Kind of happened that way. Uh, a couple guys that I keep in contact regularly with are uh, Jody Hurst, who is a roommate of mine, right. and uh, Bo McKinnis, who is okay. one of our managers. So the three of us, and, and Russ uh, Mahan also. Um, but to try to keep up with everybody, it, it, it gets tough, especially being in Illinois. Have you had much of a chance to interact with any of the players and share any of your memories playing in the World Series? A little bit. Yesterday, uh, uh, John Cohen gave me the opportunity to talk to the team and uh, I just told them how proud I was as a former Bulldog player that all of us are behind them. We're kind of participating in this tournament with them and uh, just wished them luck and told them that we were praying for them and uh, just so proud of what, what they've been able to do out here. I know it's I think this is the year they're, they're going to take it as home. A, as a former player, uh, and you look out and you want me to watch them on the game with like the long beards and long hair and then the unbuttoned shirt. Man, what's kind of your reaction to that? Yeah, um, I was talking with John, and he said he's relaxed some of his rules this year, and it's a, it's a little uh, uh, different to see that in a Mississippi State uniform, but, boy, you can't argue with the results. And I think, I think what we see are guys who are relaxed, and they're playing. You're going to play to the best of your ability when you're relaxed, and I think that's what he's trying to uh, uh, instill in the guys. So even though it's a little, uh, little shocking, hey, that's what it takes to win. Uh, go for it every time.